Hello, I'm Diego Sanelli, and in this video we are going to take a look into a digital product I may recently call 22 Alphas Blockout for Critters. The product is available now on my RStation and Gumroad profile. The link is in the description. This is my first commented video. I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about my workflow and my experience so far through it, creating this digital sculpt all based on the alphas that I created to speed up my creature monsters workflow. One of my favorite features of ZBrush is the alpha mode, where you can touch infinite combination to create a whole line of characters from the nothing, just basing the main shape in this alphas I made got a graphic artist degree two years ago and since then I have been dedicating myself to learn the digital sculpt world. So far all the graphic style of my work is related to the dark sci-fi genre and ZBrush is one of the best app out there to design creatures and monsters but this is just based on my personal opinion. These alphas I'm using to create this concept are based on tons of speed sculpt I have been working in a challenge to myself. I decided to start a 365 day challenge a few months ago to improve my digital sculpts skills. To be more specific, and so far it has drawn amazing results to me so far. The progress is available in my art station portfolio. In the concept art design world, there are three requirements to reach the best concept for your task, no matter if it's a personal one or a commercial project. These three things to start are indispensable. Those requirements are speed, accuracy, and shape. These three are key to hit the perfect final concept for your project. Take care of that and you will be always satisfied with the result. And of course, you will be prepared for this non-stop industry in the concept art world. In the starting line, I decided to use a digital timer on my computer to bound myself to an exactly period of time and get in shape under pressure. So. I started with a 30 minutes time and actually I'm about 2 hours per daily sculpt this set on my digital timer. I'm talking about that because the creation of these personal alphas have reduced my concept time from 1 hour to just minute and the blockout phase too. ZBrush is the best solution to my stories inside of my head. In my free time I write a pair of novels and few short stories and every time you write you depict your character in your head or whatever you are writing. Using the digital sculpt way is the best way to give a graphical base to all of my stories but after that it's impossible to not learn the technical stuff of the software and of course learn about more ways to give life to your sculpts and models. So. I made this alpha project to skip the long phase of throwing brushes blind for hours and get the blockout base as soon as possible. The alpha way is much easier and put you in a good point to make your ideas fluid, more faster and of course explore new ones. Append the new primitive and then animation it to just apply this alpha and make the chest is a new combination for me and clever way to speed up your idea and beat time. Leaving some things clear, I can go directly to the skull point. This alpha, of course, can be combined and reach amazing details level on the surface because it works fine for high poly character, of course. The symmetry mode works quite fine on it, and even to mix organic shape with hard surface give you good results. The best way to let go long hours to reach some base idea is to improve your workflow with these tools, all available in the ArtStation Marketplace that I recommend to get. In the description of the video there is a direct link 
of my digital products in the RStation, Gumroad and Flipped Normals platform. So yeah, that's all for now. I'm still looking forward to keep uploading my experience and story through ZBrush. If you have some feedback or questions, feel free to leave a comment. For sure, I'll be pleased to answer. Till next time.